So we're currently at Bempton Cliffs on the Yorkshire coast and we've just seen some puffins. So they're quite hard to spot because they're only eight inches tall but you can just pick them out by looking for little splashes of orange. So we've seen a few diving off the cliffs, we've seen a few just sitting on there um, when they come out of their nest and yeah it's been really cool to, to see some puffins in Yorkshire. Bempton Cliffs is a nature reserve in the East Riding of Yorkshire. Run by the RSPB, it is one of the best places in Yorkshire to see puffins. Bempton Cliffs is the UK's largest seabird colony, with almost half a million seabirds gathering on the cliffs between March and October to raise their chicks. You can spot gannets, guillemots, and of course, puffins. Most of the year, puffins are at sea, but in the spring, they find burrows to raise a single chick. By late May and June, puffins start to leave their burrows more frequently, making this a great time to spot them. While there are a few places in the UK you can see puffins, most of these colonies are on islands, which makes Bempton Cliffs a great option if you don't fancy getting on a boat. The various viewpoints at Bempton allow you to see the birds without disturbing them or their habitat. There is of course no guarantee that you will spot a puffin. During our visit in late May, we had almost given up seeing one. Whilst we loved watching the graceful gannets, we had not seen a single puffin. Then, at the last viewpoint, Staple Newark, we spotted a flash of orange on the chalky white cliffs. Finally, we saw a puffin! After our trip to Bempton Cliffs, we headed to Flamborough Head. At Flamborough Head, we managed to spot some more wildlife, seals! seals and even more puffins was an amazing way to end our day of finding puffins in Yorkshire. <laughs>